Hello everyone, found this uh, interesting article, Windows 11 will soon force everyone to have a Microsoft account. This is what the article is talking about and on this blog post here, for Windows Pro Edition, you're going to be required to have an internet connection during the initial setup. In the past, specifically with Windows 10, you could set up an offline account without uh, signing into Microsoft. I also checked the comparison site on the official Microsoft website uh, and it looks like that setting up offline accounts is not an officially supported feature for Windows 11 Pro. So after looking at the blog post and the article that I found, I decided to see whether or not this was actually true. Could you no longer set up a non-Microsoft account on Windows 11 Pro? I went ahead, downloaded the specific build, the development build, ISO, for the version that the article is talking about, and I also created a virtual machine to test it out. Once this is done setting up in the background, we will go through the uh, initial setup page where you set up the accounts and see whether or not it's true if you can actually no longer set up a non-Microsoft account. And do note that we do have a, an internet connection. So I set up this virtual machine for internet. And now we're checking for updates. Okay, so while that's doing, I'll start pressing keys on my keyboard. So I'll just try control uh, F1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that did something. Aha, all right. Let me check that again. So Shift F10. Yep, Shift F10 is, brings up a command prompt, it looks like. So I can do... Open up Explorer right here, and it should. This is Windows 11 Explorer. You can go into this PC. We'll take a quick look here. So what do you uh, right here? So what the Windows app does is it creates this default user zero. It's like a temporary user who is supposed to get deleted after the setups are done. So we can go into Control Panel. There we go, there's the control panel. Let's see here, let's manage another account. Oh look, add new user in PC settings. I am clicking this multiple times, but it is not doing anything. Oh, actually, it did something, okay. Huh, interesting. We'll go to add, oh, it says add account. Um, looks like, click, I don't have this person sign in. Now to use it without a Microsoft account. So just do test and no password. Okay, there we go, we have an account now. I don't think there's really any easy way to get into the account. So let me see if going through setup, go through setup for personal use. And then, yeah, right here. It wants you to make an account. Oh, I, I, wait, well, hold on. Skip for now. Okay. Test two. Next. Next. Oh, that's interesting. Team is installed first. Okay. Well, I'll tab. If you have multiple op windows open, I'll tab works. I could I could technically close out of this. I uh, I might have broken things. Oh. Well, we just skipped checking for updates, I guess. Alright, so I think we're going to go into the whole setting up your PC now process. Yep, there we go. Wait. There we go. Now we're in it. Kind of. Okay, so, alright, here we go. Now we're in the Windows 11 science screen. Remember, this is the preview build, or the demo build, so we're just... Windows 11 Pro test 2. So test 2 was the account that we set up through the setup. Whatever that article is saying about the requirement for a Windows or for a Microsoft account, uh, I don't think that's necessarily true. Because I just showed two ways where you could set up a new account that's not linked to a Microsoft account. 
One way was through the setup, the normal Windows 11 setup, and the other way was by opening up the command prompt and creating the, se creating the user through the settings. Um, and I'm sure that there's probably a third way you can do entirely from the command prompt, uh, but I won't go through that right now. Uh, I might make a follow-up video if the next release build actually does lock out that feature. With that, um, I guess lesson learned is uh, don't believe everything you see on the internet, even if the official Microsoft blog has uh, put something up onto it. Um, maybe in the future this will change in the next builds, but uh, who knows? Be sure to follow and subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this uh, quick Windows tip, I guess. And yeah, stay tuned for more Windows tips. Uh, next up, how to break your Windows computer without administrator approval.